This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... The concept of defending a line or a route of travel versus the concept of defending a point. Two-dimensional defense versus, uh, oh no, this would actually be like, it would be, I guess we'll call it a one-dimensional defense versus a zero-dimensional defense. Whenever you're, you're moving around, trying to get from one place to another, you're operating uh, in a linear fashion. You're going uh, on a, you're on a line, basically. When you're just sitting at home or sitting in one spot for an extended period of time, then you're, then you're just on a point, which I call a zero-dimensional uh, situation. You're not moving around. You're a much more difficult target in some ways. Uh, most of uh, our difficulties occur when people are going from point A to point B. Uh, generally, yeah, if Kelly had been sitting at home, there wouldn't have been an issue. So uh, what, what happened was a series of events that uh, I, would, I would hope that we can learn from and try to avoid. Obviously, the first problem is that Kelly got into some kind of trouble in Arizona. This was probably before she moved to New Hampshire. Now, now maybe this was completely unavoidable, but uh, if you can avoid getting in trouble outside New Hampshire, you know, play it a little bit more cautious, then you can keep the authorities from forcing you to move around a lot, right? Once you get in trouble in, in some given location, uh, now you've got all these court dates that you've got to make, which is gonna involve some sort of traveling. The traveling is gonna put you at additional risk and cause additional expense. So if you're gonna end up in New Hampshire, just try to avoid trouble outside New Hampshire. Play it cautious. Even once you're inside the state, I think it's appropriate to limit travel as much as you can. You know, get the most bang out of the buck every time you get behind the wheel. Limiting the number of flights that you uh, take every year is gonna have a lot of good effects. Uh, both uh, stand downs take money out of the uh, hands of the authorities. They take money away from the gas tax revenues. They take money away from the uh, airline tax revenues. Money stays away from the TSA. <laughs> I guess I'm being a little bit hypocritical here since I'm narrating this video while I'm driving in a car. But really, none of us can avoid a bit of that. The point is to keep it all to a minimum. Driving is way more expensive than you give it credit for. The more of it you do, the easier a target you are. The less money remains in your hands, the hands of the liberty movement, the more it goes into the hands of the authorities. Of course, this is doubly true with air travel. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit freekeen.com to see what's happening. Freekeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keen, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com